Hello again, this is PC Delta Link, and we're back with more of our grounded playthrough. Whoa, difficulty. Uh, we're over here in the sandbox, and we're attempting to get up to the top of the castle in order to get the milk molar that's up there. However, uh, dealing with the sizzling effect has been troublesome. We're, we're taking what shade we can in different spots, but this is very dangerous over here right now. Especially for things like that. I really can't do much over here, I feel like, until evening. <laughs> Alright, I can't build when I'm in combat. Well, that isn't quite what I had in mind, but it works. Alright, I think we're kind of home here until we get to evening time. Ooh, hello, Raw Science. 500? Yeah! I'll take that, thank you. Well, while we're in the water here, let's confirm the chest location. Should be over here somewhere. Yep, there it is, right there. Okay, we can get that easily next time we have the key. Speaking of key, okay. We also are trying to keep an eye out because at 3 p.m. approximately, 3.30, somewhere in there, the, uh, the location of the key for that chest will be shown through the shovel handle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, run, run and run. Jeez, I need antlion armor so badly. We did kill most of the upper antlions in this place when I was here the other day. After the last episode ended, um, right now I'm wearing ant armor because I was hauling stuff, you know? Go ahead and eat chewy, that. But not bad. Oh, while we're here, let's open the uh, door with the assistant manager key card that's in here. It kind of looks like a popsicle. Oh, hello. I get the feeling it's not refreshing, though. I cannot bear to look upon myself any longer. I've become a monster. <laughs> Inhuman, less than the insects that are my only companions. Now. Yeah, see, three thirty on the clock there. I've become old, well before my years. A shrunken husk of a man, a walking corpse, like lurking shriek, doomed to the executioner's axe. Poor guy. Trudy was right all along, as she always is. And what remains? Oh wow! I'm yeah, a failure as a scientist, Not as a husband, good. and as a father. I have no choice but to remain here, living exiled in the backyard. Oh, man. I have diverted my remaining strength and will into finding a cure for this malady. This raisinification, if you will. It is my only hope now. All other research initiatives must be placed on hold, or it will be too late. It may already be too late. It is only fitting that I am so small. Tiny, minuscule, just like my legacy. Jeez, I feel bad for him. Alright, anything good in here? Ah, uh, some candy pieces. Why is there candy corn in here? It's a seasonal item. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, we got the picnic tape, or the sandbox burgle chip. That's good. I don't know where I'm going. Um, <laughs> get in the shadow of the shovel. Go, 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 go. All right, well, I'm basically going to chill here for... Oh, gosh, I need water. Um, I have a canteen right Don't yeah. even need to boil it. I'm going to chill here for a few minutes. Um, that's on a pallet. It's fine. I'm going to chill here for a few minutes and wait for this. I don't have a black ant shovel, so we can't dig this thing up. Although, maybe I could go get that real quick. Let's go see if we can craft that real quick. Let's see if we can escape from here with our lives. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. It's insane how dangerous this place is without antlion armor. Which I don't think I have enough pieces to craft yet. I can check when we get back to the house here in a minute. Ooh. They have the shades spaced just right to keep you alive in that place. 
But even then, it's pretty, uh, pretty tight timelines you're working with. We just got to be back there within an hour or so. In-game hour. <laughs> so we'll see if we can pull that off. But I doubt I have enough pieces to make full antline armor, because if we don't have the full one, it's, we're not going to have the effects. Okay, let's get the helmet. Uh, the poncho. And the spurs. Never mind, what do I know? Okay, and then we need the black ant shovel. I'm assuming we got enough pieces to craft that we did. Okay, get it, good. We are out of inventory space. That's fine. Let me go ahead and... I feel a little less squishy now. Throw that antline armor on. For now, we're just gonna chuck this stuff in here. Yeah, because we are limited on time. Give me the shovel, okay. Our time for we have an hour left in game. All right, let me grab some more weed stems that I'm gonna need. How's our clover looking? Clover's fine. Five more should be enough. Okay, well now that we have full antline armor, we should be in good shape. From that must have been from those last couple kills we had. We should be safe from the sizzle effect for the most part. Yeah, we're good. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. <laughs> And now we have a T2 shovel, which is great. So yeah, it is going up just very slowly. What time is it? Okay, we have about half an hour left. So we just need to keep an eye on that, really. Let me go ahead and replace our shovel with the black ant shovel. Oh, here we go gonna say I think I can find it just with how close we are to it there we go one key for the taking okay got the key well since we can wander around here during the daytown yeah let's look at some of the shiny spots on the map because I think this might be another uh, chest uh, what was that oh <laughs> okay um Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, Log 88.05.29G. Oh, or is that H? H for safety. Final evaluation tests of the spacer are going well, though I have noticed some minor errors in transcription where a non-trivial number of particles are not being conserved. I have observed no ill side effects, but making a note to check that later. Making a note! <laughs> I'm still annoyed by Dr. Klein's attitude at the barbecue when I confided in him about my success. He was arrogant, as always, dismissing my breakthroughs and covalent spacing reduction, questioning the very use of shrinking technology. Just ignore him. Ridiculous lack of vision. World hunger, overpopulation, global warming, just the tip of the iceberg. All right, let's get some antlions killed here so we can get back to building. Unless I can sneak up here. Nope, X that. Come here, buddy. Oof. I did not get far enough away there. Good stun. Get some stamina back. Not sure why he abandoned the digging attempt, but I'm not gonna complain. Beautiful. I think there's three ant lines in this area. Okay. Good block. Good. Good stun. Almost got him. Made like two hits. <laughs> I got him as he went under. Okay, hopefully I can build this undisturbed now. I should be high enough to where they don't detect me. Come on. There we go. Couple more. Okay, I need more weed stems. Come on. Okay, that should be plenty.
Got it. That was a worthwhile trip. Just to get this. Okay, excellent. Now let's see what's on the turrets. We got some... Looks like some upgrade materials. So this is worth getting these. Unlike previously. Yeah, so we really need enough resources to get into all four of those. I don't think we have that, honestly. We'll go ahead and take the uh, spicy candy with us, too. Spicy shard. Okay. Nothing else on the actual castle here. Let's take our weed stem. Alright, we'll deal with him. We're gonna heal or er, repair the weapon real quick. Come on, buddy. Ooh, that was a bad block. Holy cow, I did bad there. Stamina back, okay. Good block. Oh, I can't wait to upgrade my gear. Jeez, it sucks having only plus five right now. Good block. Good. Good stun. We got him. One more hit. Alright, let's find the... Yeah, the last one I was about to say. Come on. Oh. Bandage. We're okay. Nice crit and a, and a stun. Very nice. Good. Good crit. One more combo. Got him. Beautiful. Okay. We should be clear. That should be all of them in here. I think there was only three. I'm gonna check and see if there's anything back here. Oh, they blocked this. Good, because there was no reason for that cave to ever be here. So I'm kind of glad they blocked it. Um, I will check. I doubt it, but I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if it's bombable. Just because. I doubt it, though. Nope, okay. It's worth a check. I got plenty of bombs. I'm not worried about using them. Alright, how many? We are out of clover leaf, so I can't build any more ramps anyway. We had just enough to get up to the uh, top of the castle up there. Well, I can see I might be able to reach some of these without building. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Just put those there for now. All right, let's go ahead and take any of the sturdy materials we can get, because we really don't have many of those. Three and three, that's standard. Okay. That one's going to require a... Uh, some building to get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this, these weed stems over here. Showing that we had to, had to build to get up here. I estimate we're gonna need three or four to do this one. Four. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go the other way and see if we can find something else in the other direction. There we go. Some sturdy quartzite for our trouble.
three and three. And some raw science for our trouble over here. A scientific breakthrough. All right, I'm gonna have to use up another canteen drop. Tablets needed. All right, let's grab that chest. Really? I took falling damage from that. Screw you, game. That's crap. Got a milk molar, got the uh, blueprint for the, yeah, salt morning star. All right, that's pretty good. Salt morning star is a really good weapon, but I know I don't have the pieces to craft it yet. All right, we need to take advantage of most of the ant lines being dead while we had the chance, except for the ones in the pits. So I'm gonna grab whatever I can carry back, including some of the human food, because I think, I believe there's accessories that you can get from the human food as well, but they're very rare drops. So that's why we're pretty much always harvesting these things when I get the chance, just to check. Okay, nothing this time. All right, we are full up on inventory space. Oh, one last thing I can do while I'm here with you guys. This is the exit to the Black Ant Hill. We never went this way coming the other direction. My mom always says I light up a room. So I'm gonna check here real quick and make sure there's nothing from this side that we skipped. Well, some marble. Oh, come on. Quit being asthmatic and give me the dang yeah. material. All right. I was going to say, where'd that last piece go? There we go. Ah. Wait, that's the way I came, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I got all turned around there. Yeah, yeah, this is right. Okay. Oh, this is not where I expected this to take me. Um, okay. Come on. Well, okay. Oh, marble. Better than starving. We'll eat the I mushrooms think. while we're here. I don't think I have any food on me, do I? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the rest of these, too. I'm not interested in fighting the black ants. Wait. Ooh, this is a different path. Not interested in fighting the black ants because... Aha, there we go. Yeah. I thought there was another bomb on the wall somewhere in here. Now, this might just lead to a scab upgrade. Oh, yep, I was right. Okay. But hey, it's exploration. Alright, I think I'm going to head back to Burgle. I'll check this room here one last time real quick, make sure we didn't miss anything. Get my torch back. Oh, that's where the scab upgrade was. That's just a different path to get to it, even though you can't get to it because the roots are there. It's just to show you that it's there. All right, yeah, I'm gonna head back to Burgle and turn in this tape, this, uh, sandbox chip and I'll see you guys shortly okay we're back over here at burgle let's go ahead and turn in that chip how can I help you today oh yeah we can talk about his dreams real quick or maybe not okay 
3K science. All right, there we go. All right, cool. What do we get for that? Into the wood. That's the termite mound. Oh, yes. Let me take a look at this. Have to keep things clean. There's experimentation to be done. We'll go ahead and put another one into healing. Next one I'm probably going to put into stamina, honestly. Work, work. So we need one more to get the stamina upgrade. What about group milk molars? Um... Hmm... I can't decide on that one for right now, so we're gonna leave it. Alright, let's see what we got new here. Ah, the flavored globs smithing. There we go. Okay, definitely gonna want that. I think that was the only thing new. Maybe the doodles, but that was it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Alright, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to head back over toward the grill area. Yes, spicy glob, mint glob, salt glob, sour glob. Very good. I'm going to head back over to the grill area. Now that we have the antlion armor, we should be able to be fine. Got you keep me safe. There we go. We should be able to be fine going near the charcoal to harvest it. Sorry, right, I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get over there. All right, real quick on my way back to the grill, I remembered I wanted to grab the upgrade materials that were on top of this, so I did. I managed to get up here with only three of them, because I can make that last jump. But um, it was just some brittle quartzite and brittle marble, but while I was up here, I did notice that down there. So we're going to grab this real quick. I have some extra weed stems, but we don't actually need them at this point. Oh, good, sturdy. Just what I want. All right. Oh, oh, for crying out loud. Also did not know the water was that shallow right there, so I wouldn't have not have jumped off like that if I'd known that. All right, well, I'm going to head over toward the grill. I'll probably kill any antlions on the way out because this armor I'm wearing does require antlion pieces to repair. And we still want the antlion greatsword. So, I'm going to kill everything I can in here on my way over there. So, catch up with you guys once we're over there. It might be by nightfall. Okay, I cleared the rest of the sandbox again, and on our way over there, I believe I have enough pieces now to make the Antlion Greatsword. I do. And we are freaking taking this thing, because the Antlion Greatsword is one of the best weapons in the entire freaking game. So I don't think it's going to help me as much over there at the moment. Um, let me replace that from the... From that. Yeah. Yeah. For now, we're going to stick with our ant club because we have the materials to repair this more. And for our antlion armor, the first couple repairs for it, I'm not going to use the repair costs, the antlion parts, the silk rope, the pincers, because I don't have a lot of those. What I'll do instead is, as it needs to be repaired, I will come back and upgrade it. And that is a free repair when you upgrade stuff. So we'll, we're going to do it that way. But for now, I'm going to head over. It's 1 in the morning. I'm going to head over to the charcoal area. And hopefully we can actually come home with some charcoal pieces this time. We'll see you all in a minute. Okay, we're almost there. And I forgot I had this piece of sturdy quartzite here. I found this when I was wandering through the... Let me show you on the map where we are. On the bricks near this area. But I'd left this marker here to remind me of it. So let me cancel out of that now because i don't need it anymore now that we've got it i waited to collect that until you guys were with us green three okay we're good by the power of helion champion of the sun oh, okay thought we had something there all right i'll just stay with you guys because we are pretty close to the 
uh, upper yard ascent over here. Yeah, hard to believe how much work we've gotten done on this. Oh, we got some fireflies here. Um, no mosquitoes? This might be worth doing. Well, I said I was going to show you guys the fireflies. Let's get their attention. Ooh, that was a crit. That was a horrible shot. You see what I mean? They're really not bad. That must be their weak point. And that must be why we're hitting such good numbers there. Or Mosquito, mosquito, go, go, go. I do not want to deal with mosquitoes right now. Hate mosquitoes. <clears throat> well, we got more firefly pieces at least, so good thing. I hear a wolf spider who's sleeping. I'd like to leave him that way. Well, I do have a better weapon to deal with him now, but that's not the point. <laughs> Alright, full up on bandages again. Taking a few of those. Do I have any? Three, perfect. That's how many I've got. All right. Oh, well, hello. I don't remember this being here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're almost back in the upper yard. And hopefully you can come home with some charcoal this time for our oven, and then we can upgrade some weapons. Oh, jeez. No, eight-line greatsword, let's go. Man, I love this sword. And spiders are weak to this. That's why we're doing that kind of damage to them. Well, we got two crits there, too. Wow! <laughs> yeah, I am so happy we got this weapon. I feel way more powerful running around with this now. Oh, wow, that's like Nat City up there. If you need some food, can kill those. I know that's insanely bright, but we have the gamma turned up so you guys can see at night, so it may not actually be too bright for you guys. For me, it's way over the top. All right, I can try the uh, great sword on these guys, see how it handles. Also, I haven't peeped these guys yet, so the first one I attract, I'm going to need to peep. Taking a part that one off there we list. go. Well, it definitely does better. hate that ability. How they could back hop like that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this weapon. And this is unupgraded. I don't have any upgrades on this weapon yet. Alright, let's go ahead and eat our yeah. roast aphid. We'll kill off some of these um, larvae so we can deal with this place. Crit. Good. Also, the Antlion Greatsword is faster than our other heavy weapons, so we get our combo in much easier. Which means it's going to be easier for us to inflict damage. Dead. Beautiful. Okay, now we're still going to have to move quick. Just because we have this armor does not make us immune to the sizzle effect, it's just going to build up much more slowly. And that was quicker than I was expecting, honestly. Okay, we can get it, it's just going to take a minute. I'm going to check up here real quick while I'm here. Yeah, I'm just going to say there should be a group milk molar up here. And a uh, wolf spider. Yeah. I'm gonna try to grab the science. Science! I got 
the science. All right, we're good. I'm gonna go for the charcoal again. <laughs> yeah. Burning up. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Got healing in, we're good. Man, even with the armor, you s they upgraded how uh, much sizzling hurts here, because it used to be the armor would be enough you could harvest this crap at least. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. Definitely going to be wasting some healing items on this. Oh, I didn't realize we were going up. My bad. Okay. We got one. All that effort for one piece. Are you serious? Okay, there is one right here. Oh, I think I see another one over here, too. Yeah, there's a couple over here. Okay. Jeez. I'm gonna get him over here so we can get rid of him. Good crit. Good crit. Good. Come here, you coward. Oh my gosh, that's so good. All right, let's go again. Backing off. This one seems a little bit easier to get than the other one was. We can get two guaranteed hits before we have to run away. Come on, punk. This sword is amazing. Way better than the Ant Club. Okay, excellent. Let's get back to it. Got both. All right, I need one more piece. We need four in total to craft the um, the oven. I see one right there. So we're going to try for that one. Go, go, go. We can only get one hit per time. Jeez, it sucks the way this works. Oh, I need to back up a little bit more. Okay. All right. At this point, I'm sure this isn't fun for you guys, so I'm probably going to pause while I do this. Because this there's going to be a lot of just one hit and running away. I see an item to dig up over there, too, so I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Okay, we're back, and we finally have an oven built. Mint glob... Mint shard, sturdy whetstone. Okay. Can we finally craft the mint mallet? Mint mace, okay. Uh, I don't have tough gunk yet, so no. No on that. That needs a pincer to repair it, but we are going to just upgrade that instead and get it that way. So, let me go ahead and throw some of this. Oh, you can analyze that. Okay. Let me go ahead and throw some of these in here for now. And I know we need a second chest for remains, because we're getting quite a few remains at this point. Oh, that's not where we're throwing Firefly pieces for right now. Okay. <laughs> Firefly pieces are going in here for the moment. Yeah, we'll definitely get a second chest for insect parts that we're killing, because we have quite a few of those at this point. Alright, what does it take to make this? Ooh, salt shard and spicy shard. Okay, we don't have that yet. Because we're going to need this to get through the charcoal area to the upper part of the yard, unfortunately. 
for how much damage that... How quickly the sizzle is building up on us. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the... Antlion Greatsword. Let's see. Brutal Wet Stones? Okay. Let me have... And again, we're gonna take this slowly because we want to use this as free repairs for our weapon. So we're gonna be doing this a very slow way to upgrade these. Okay, that needs a mighty glob. Five mighty globs? Jeez, you people want expensive crap for your stuff. And see, we got a free repair on the greatsword by upgrading it. All right, but we definitely need upgrades on the crossbow because we need to be able to kill the antlions in the holes in order to get access to spicy shards, another milk molar or two, as well as salt. So we're going to need five mighty globs, which is ten sturdy whetstones. Good night, you people who want expensive crap. All right, I need 10 sturdy quartzite shards. That's expensive upgrade crap. Okay. I don't like that. That's going to take a while to bake. Well, wait, do they all cook at the same time? Oh, that's cool. Well, it's not as bad as I thought then in that case. I'm gonna go ahead and repair our hammer. Yeah, we got plenty of pieces on that. Armor's good for right now, I'm not gonna worry about repairing it yet. And by repairing, I mean we're gonna upgrade the antlion armor properly. This is probably gonna be our go-to set for quite a while for armor. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the axe here, I don't need that for right now. I also don't think I need any underwater gear right now, so the... Knife and the slime lantern can stay. I'll keep the regular torches, though, because I will need those. We also need more arrows. If we're going to seriously kill these antlions with... Um, with arrows in the pits, we're going to need a lot more arrows than what we're carrying. Yeah, it's the only path I have for this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't have any in the chest, do we? Oh, I do. Okay. That's probably enough, but given that this is woe difficulty, I'll probably craft a little bit more, just to be on the safe side. Alright. We'll take three stacks of arrows with us, so 75 total. That ought to be pretty decent. I've got repair materials for the uh, Red Ant Club if we need it. Alright, I will be back with you guys once these are done cooking, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, they are done. So let's take those and let's upgrade our crossbow. Ten for the next level? Are you serious? That's 20 sturdy quartzite. And at the same time, I think I need to do it because of how badly we need uh, range damage at this point in the game. So, yeah, I hate that we have to do this, but I think we're going to do it. We have just enough sturdy quartzite to get this. Okay. Yep. Alright, I'll be back again in a couple minutes. Okay, now that that's finally done, let's go ahead and upgrade the crossbow one more time. What's our damage look like on that now? Pretty dang good. Okay, renew that. Oh, yeah, I gotta replace the sword because I don't know why it can't figure out it's the same item. It's just upgraded. All right, so let's see if we can kill some of these little pests that are in their burrows now, because I bet I probably can. 
We're mostly in the shade at this point, not that it matters. And most of these guys should still be dead from when I was down here the other day. Alright, I am going to go ahead and save, though, before we do this. So I really don't want to die and have to redo a lot of crap. Alright, hopefully the damage on this is decent now that it's gotten two more upgrades. Okay, it's not great, but... But it'll work. Ooh, crit. I love that he's just got a pile of ant carcasses down there that he can keep pulling out from. <laughs> I didn't know I could stun with that weapon. News to me. I mean, I'm not complaining, but still. Crit. Dead. Well, that was nice. Albeit, that took about 20 arrows. Alright, there might be one in here. I'm not sure. No, we're clear. Okay. And we got some upgrade materials. Sturdy marble, which is pleasant. Although now that I know how much some of these upgrades cost, it's not as happy of a thing as I once thought it was. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Nothing there? Yep, nothing there. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Now that we can finally clear these buried ones, it's going to be a lot easier to see what else is in this sandbox. One of these has a milk molar somewhere, but I couldn't tell you for the life of me which one it was. Oh, that was good. Just shoot the hill, why don't you? actually the most thrilling of combat, but oh well. Yeah, I don't remember this weapon ever having a stun on it, so that's actually really cool. I appreciate it. Two more hits. one somewhere in these. Oh, this is way better damage. That was close. Alright, very good. place for a soda drop and I'm not complaining. Alright, some sturdy marbles, some mint shards. I 
I'm not complaining, because we need all the upgrade materials we can get. <clears throat> Plus, there is a rare chance for an accessory to spawn from one of those food drops. For the um, candy ones, like the mints and whatnot, it's actually a chance to get an accessory that gives you that type of damage at all times. So, like, if we got the mint one, then every attack we do would do the fresh damage, which is great. As per the usual, we're checking that. Go ahead and use up that. We don't have a ton of space left. I guess we could take the cookie bits. That it? Oh, there's one up here. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's keep going. the black ant helping us, or he was. How did that miss? Good hit. Good crit. Good stun. Reload faster, little buddy. Two more hits. Dead. Okay, I can't tell what this one is yet. Uh, okay, there's, there's the big one, and there's, like, two or three of them in here. So I'm gonna save before we continue. Try to lure one at a time over here, but this is, the, this is where the salt shards are, so we really need this. Such a good weapon. Alright, should be one more somewhere. So good. All right, there might be one more. I'm not sure. We're going to be very cautious, though. No, I think we're good. All right. Science. I'm going to see if Rockcracker can help with this. Um, get rid of Parry Master. Rockcracker. Yeah. Oh, well, looks like it might be one hit quicker. Or two sometimes. Okay. Alright, well at least now we have the food items to get the Case of Delant Lion, which means we can get past the barbecue area probably. Probably. Not for certain. Oh, that's Supreme Quartzite. Never mind. We're not breaking that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Supreme. Supreme. Yep.
we're gonna end up farming this crap a lot because we need like everything we can get in here salty weapons are good to have for some enemies okay just making sure that wasn't something I had to be concerned with I was gonna say, normally it's like 34, 35 salt in here if you get all of it. Oh, come on. There we go. This is why we repaired the hammer before we came here. Because I knew we were going to go through a lot of it. Alright, that's great. Alright, I'm going to see if I can find the one that gives the... Um, Milk Molar, I think it's on the far side over near the wall over there, so I'll catch up with you guys w when we kill that one. Okay, yep, I found it. Got a Mega Milk Molar here. I thought it was a regular one, but maybe I'm thinking of someplace different. That's Supreme, and yep, we can't break that. Alright, um, we're doing really good. We've gotten a lot of crap, and our, uh, our antline sword's almost broken again. Great sword. So I'm going to head back to the house and repair that. And I don't think there's anything else I need here. So we might spend the last little bit of time exploring the charcoal area with the Quesa de Antlion helping us. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. We're going to upgrade the uh, Antlion Greatsword to level 2 as well to repair it. So probably do that off camera while the thing's cooking. Okay, so now that we're back here, let's compare a before and after eating this. So let's see how it is right now. See, that's pretty decent. Of course, it gets quicker as I get into deeper ones. So that's without having the food in effect. And now let's go ahead and eat mm. that. Not bad. Look how much better that is. That is infinitely better. Even in the heavier areas, we're not taking too bad a sizzling damage. Now, of course, that doesn't last forever, but it will let us get some stuff while we're here today. Such as some charcoal chunks. Alright, let me back off and get rid of the sizzle real quick. This way we can get more ovens if we want them later. Now, what I'm planning to do in between episodes as well is I'm planning to build a different route to the upper yard that doesn't involve me going this way. So that we don't have to worry about this crap anymore. Alright. Yeah, I'm not planning to have to come back through here again for a very long time, so that's why we're going to get rid of what we can. Come on, get rid of the sizzle effect. Okay, got a couple more pieces of charcoal to farm up here real quick. Let's hear it for crits. I'm just going to get two hits on and then I'm going to run. Okay. Even with that food, I mean, that's building up pretty quick right there. So that just tells you how bad the sizzle effect really is up here. Three pieces. Fifteen. That's enough to build three more ovens. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to try to get into the actual barbecue grill, because I think there's a milk molar in there. Or at least there used to be. Yep, there it is, right there. I should be able to get that. That should be out of the sizzle range. Well, not entirely, but it's close enough. It's not bad. Alright. I'm going to let that get off, and then I'm going to try to get that one piece of 
ever char right there. Oh, there's two pieces of it. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Simmer down, simmer down. Alright. Definitely would not want to explore in here without this food anymore at this point. 19 of those, that's enough for four more ovens. We should be good. All right, I'm gonna go this way. We are in the upper yard now, by the way. Once we climbed that hill there a second ago, we are now past that wall and we're in the upper yard. Now this is the charcoal bag. Now the coltana is in here, but it requires a challenge to get it, and we're not going to be able to do that at this point. Our gear and stuff is not going to be powerful enough. Basically, you have to defend it while uh, waves of things try to kill you. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So, we're not ready for that. Safe pull, and you basically have to wave defend it until it's ready. Ooh, hello, Milk Molar. <laughs> Alright, well that was good. So let's go ahead and use these to jump out of here. And our goal is basically to see what we can find out here. There we go. Alright, it's nice to finally be back in the upper yard again. And this place has changed a bit since I've last been here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, I think our goal for this trip up here is basically gonna be run around and see if we can find um, any milk molars. Because I know there's a few of them here and there, like in these canyons. Candy as well. Yeah, like mint candy right there. That's about all we know off the top of our heads of what's in here. Okay. Scare beetle that we're not going to be able to kill. Club doesn't do too bad. I'm going to use the club to save the durability on... on the greatsword. Oh, come on. There we go. Dust might fuzz. Oh, wait, I can beat these guys. There we go. Alright. I'm just gonna go for the mint. Alright, not worth it to kill them, I don't think. I just wanted the item to mark it. Is there any treasure buried here or anything? No. Oh, yes there is. Yep. Wow, okay, that was nice. Piece of crap. Okay. That's enough out of you punks. Oh my gosh. Spicy candy. how crossbow does on them. Crossbow does pretty good. Oh my gosh! This also is going to break our armor. Wow. I didn't think these things would do that kind of damage. I mean, I know it's woe difficulty, but still... 
All right, let's just explore some of these upper areas. A scientific breakthrough. All right, our armor's trashed. Story of my life, I know. Quartzite. Good, sturdy. We need this crap. Because we used all of it for the crossbow. Dang it. We need tier 3 axe to chop that. Oh, jeez. Okay, I was like, we're stuck. Alright. Good crit. Legs are broken. All right. Um. <laughs> quartzite. Got the quartzite. A lot of pupa hides down here, but there's not much I'm going to be able to do with those without having. Uh, the tier three axe. All right, I'm not seeing anything else in here that I need. Or Weaver. I see a gold milk molar down there, too. Also treasure right here. Ooh, we got some tough gunk. Let's kill the spider. All right. Yeah, I don't think there was anything back here previously we out on our time. We're over. Of course we are. That's how it always goes with us. Alright, I'll take the web fibers with us. We need those. Okay, very good. Alright, it would be nice if we could find a black ox beetle or something while we're up here, even though I'm not sure I can kill him. Oh, well, there's a black ox beetle. Alright, um, let me see if I can deal with him, and that'll be the end of our episode. Regardless of whether I kill him or not. Let me dig this up, too, whatever this is. Another cha-cha candy. Alright, we're definitely gonna want this. I don't know what the drop rate is on the accessory, but it must be pretty low. Ooh, jeez, that sounds epic, the way they do that. Got a crit. He's actually attacking... Oh. There we go. Alright, this does work. He's attacking the... 
Oh my gosh! I'm more impressed I survived that hit. He's gonna charge. Yep. Good hit. Crit. Woo -hoo -hoo. expect him to one shot us if he really gets it. Oh my gosh. He's gonna charge. Yep. Crit. We're close. He's gonna charge again. Yep. Holy frig, we got him. Alright, none of his other stuff dropped, so we need to destroy some stuff. Get rid of the spider body. Okay, he did not drop his horn, unfortunately, but we did get two black ox parts. So that was a worthwhile trip just for those. All right, well, I think that's going to be where we're going to end this episode because we are, our armor is trashed. We're basically out of everything that we're carrying with us. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you guys next time.